Let's say we found a system located a hundred light years from home, one with several potentially habitable worlds. For light sailors, that would be a 500 year long trip. Is it possible to build a ship that could break the cosmic speed limit? A mathematical physicist, Miguel Alcubierre of Mexico, inspired by the original Star Trek television series, conceived the calculations for a ship that could theoretically travel faster than the speed of light. If successful, it could cut the travel time between our sun and this distant star system down to a single year or even less. But wait a minute, isn't it a cardinal rule of science that thou shalt not travel faster than light? It is. But here's the thing about the Alcubierre drive. It doesn't move. The cosmos does. The ship itself would be enclosed in its own space-time bubble, where it needn't violate any laws of physics. Harold White of the United States ironed out some of the kinks, such as prohibitively enormous energy requirements to fly it. But it remains far beyond our immediate grasp. Alcubierre drive ship is a gravitational wave-making machine that compresses the ocean of space-time in front of it and expands that ocean in its wake. Jet skis for joyriding through the galaxy and beyond. Who knows, maybe the entire Lania Kea supercluster could one day become our pond. That's a hundred thousand galaxies. Lania Kea, the phrase in Hawaiian for immeasurable heaven. <laughs> An advanced version of our Alcubierre drive could do 600 trillion miles in the blink of an eye. Before you know it, you're in the planetary system of a distant star. Let's call it the Hoku system, a red dwarf star surrounded by a retinue of rocky and ice giant planets. Somewhere among them, is a world that we have come to call home. Our cosmic telescope sifted through all the stars within a radius of a hundred light years and pointed the way to this one. All seven of these planets huddle closer to their star than Mercury does to our sun. Haumea is just on the outskirts of Hoku's habitable zone. Those warm green colors seem inviting but we're not seeing the tops of forests. That green comes from methane and ammonia. Even at a distance of only 27 million miles, the star Hoku is too weak to keep this planet warm. We are now in the sweet spot of Hoku's habitable zone. And this is the planet Tangaroa, where the latest chapter in the saga of our species is playing out. It took a few hundred years for humans to terraform this lifeless world. But now, even the air tastes as sweet as home.